Hey everybody, Shay here. It's been a while since I've done a trailer react video. Believe it or not, I still haven't seen any Mass Effect trailers, uh, like E3 reveals, uh, gameplay, uh, launch trailers. I've seen none of it. I have seen, I, the only Mass Effect trailer I have ever seen it was the one for Andromeda, uh, which would have been, what, 2017? I think it was on the, the first or second year of this channel, uh, and I got super amped up about it because I was just getting into the trilogy. Again, well, for the channel, I was replaying Mass Effect 1 for the channel so I could set up the canon continuity uh, so then I could play uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3 blind. And it turned into probably my favorite game of all time. Um, not game, but games. Like, this trilogy probably left the biggest impact uh, on me from a uh, creative standpoint in terms of video game influence. Like, by far has beat anything that I've experienced. Um, there's like other cool games that I've experienced and moments and stuff like that, but the, but the Mass Effect experience for me <laughs> Uh, has been like no other. So I was given a list to watch for Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. I'm not sure if I'll do them all in one video or if I'll chop this up, but I'm gonna start with Mass Effect 1. Uh, I'm gonna dive right into it. I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm jonesing already to, re to re replay the game, I'm not gonna lie. So without further ado, let's get, let's get started. Let's see what this experience would have felt like 13 years ago. This is from 2007. Do you copy? We're under attack! Incoming transmission from Novaria. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's not in the game, right? That, that that's like pr when these go south. Oh. Yeah, decisions lie ahead. Hey, I enjoy the name. None of them easy. <laughs> Oh, that was good. It was good, and it was like short and sweet. Microsoft oh, Bioware Core when it, wow. So imagine this coming out. Why did why was I amused by that? Because they were known as Bioware Core before EA bought them out, and then it was just Bioware, wasn't it, or something like that? I don't know. I felt like I saw the logo uh, change at some point. I recall this logo from the Baldur's Gate days. So Bioware Core. That's like it was the studio. I mean, from Baldur's Gate on. I just wow. That was a great game too. Anyways, so. That would have been, that was, I guess, the first drop. Now, this was in 1080p HD, so I'm assuming someone uh, did some stuff to it, or maybe, I don't think there was a remaster of this game, but uh, anyways, I think someone maybe did some stuff to the video so that uh, it made it 16 by nine in HD. That would have like amped me up. Cause like, I, again, I kind of had, I have a black hole between 2004 and when I started the channel in 2016, I have a black hole of what games came out, what people are playing. I just I like legitimate, like I cold turkeyed almost the entire industry between MMOs, World of Warcraft days, uh, that kind of like started the black hole. And then it was me just going, no more gaming. And then I was just stopped for five years. And uh, I stopped there. I didn't look at new sites and any, nothing. I was working on other stuff. Um, but anyway, so, but there was no other sci-fi game outside of Knights of the Old Republic, which Bioware had a hand in. But I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would have been sci-fi. I mean, there was like sci-fi-ish horror thing like Half-Life, if you want to include that stuff, but um, that wasn't really like equivalent to like a space opera-ish sci-fi action adventure. I can't think of anything. So this might have like, yeah, this might have been definitely impressed people. Now let's go to the second one here. We have the Mass Effect E3 2007 game trailer. Falling footage is composed entirely of in-game footage. I mean, now that I've played all three, it's going to be interesting to kind of go back and. I won't no, lie. Still looks beautiful. Up. Things look bad. <laughs> still like it. trouble. It's Aaron. He hates what a humans. great enemy, man. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. One of the best. He is an ever. army of death at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. Yeah, you can okay. See, okay, now gameplay looks really good. I mean you can tell the cinematics definitely aged. But this looks good. It's good it looks good. 2007. I can only imagine with all the uh Oh man, yeah. Saren has allied himself with the Geth, but had something to do with that beacon. Shepard! 
Oh, great memories. That catalytic moment. <laughs> Imagine showcasing the awesomeness of the Mako. Imagine. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Yeah, this was this was a great uh, board right here. This, this was epic. The three times I played it, Your it felt great going down that hallway. That looks a little stiff compared to the later games, of course. But it's funny how epic they make the yeah, Mako. Like, you know, what happened? I've lost sound. I just strangely just stopped. Okay, so it's funny how they make the Mako. Uh, like, it, they show you just enough of the planets where it's like, imagine all the planets were that filled with things and that epic to uh, to explore, right? <laughs> but it's not, that just wasn't the case. It's just a lot of nothing when you start planet hopping. But uh, as infuriating as some parts of the Mako driving were, I, I had a lot of fun with the Mako. <laughs> I did more than I should have because you just start doing silly crap with it and then you get yourself into problematic situations with the Mako that you shouldn't have been climbing that mountain dumbass <laughs> you know but anyways so we have the Mass Effect trailer this is probably the official drop now of the trailer well, I mean already that quality looked looked like it was just exported better this is from 2008 this video uploads so but that's crisp as hell upload to 2008 man Oh, that looks clean. We face extinction. Way better than the last one. A rogue soldier. Oh, that looks an great. Unstoppable force across the galaxy. I'm sorry, it still looks great. And only you stand in his way. I love Saren so much. Have I ever said this? Have I made it clear? Don't you understand? God, even the novel is great. Lost. How he's characterized in the novel. Everyone you know and love. Great. Everyone. They will all. Let's finish this. Join us. Man, a submission so epic. To extinction. Are you willing to sacrifice? We just That's why you put ship. the mature and warning. Bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can hold them. This. I'm activating the nuke. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. That put, they put that in the trailer. That was, that was a, maybe, maybe a bad choice there. I mean, no one would have the context, I guess, but... I mean, not that it happened in the game. For some reason. That's so good. Yeah, I would've, that would've been, that would've, that would've, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what's this all about? The Microsoft part? Oh, Xbox, because it was out of the Xbox and the PC at the same time. Okay, and that takes us to the launch trailer. Uh, this is the uh, PC launch trailer. Let's do it. I just noticed the way that logo comes in. It almost feels aliens-ish. Am I wrong about that? I just got a bot. Oh, look at the A logo coming in on this thing. <laughs> I thought that didn't happen yet. <laughs> Anyways, no, it was probably when they were... Uh, 2008 the scope though. of organic life I'm sort is of unimaginable. An astronomical civilization spans the galaxy. Maybe it was they didn't have But as we reach for the farthest of stars, what total a great annihilation voice. is upon us. Like it's so what you would expect from a movie you trailer. Voiceover. Extinction and, is inevitable. And so, yeah. I'd rather die fighting than live a much better trailer here so far, where it's the early stuff. This ends now. Oh, it looks way more epic. That's a well cut trailer. Early. This human must be eliminated. Oh, man, I cannot wait to play this again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, winner of over M. So good. So good. The first time I played the game uh, is when I was getting back into gaming after that big like black hole of, of history of my gaming time. I played Skyrim 
and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, that pretty much killed 2015, and right at the end of that, like I think it was December, it was right before starting the channel, I played Mass Effect. I played it the first time. My mind was blown because of the decision uh, engine behind the game. Um, that Again, me coming at this after 10 years of not having anything anything like this <laughs> as an experience and then and then knowing that I was making decisions that were affecting things in the game where I was like how could that have happened though because that was the main character like those kinds of feelings you know uh, and then when I cleared it the first time because I went straight on Paragon I just like I will get the blue line all the way up because it looks like this matters to the game and then I made an active choice at the beginning I'm like I'm gonna play this twice. <laughs> Let's just do the entire blue run. And I was kind of, uh, I was, I was playing. I was, I was Joshua Kai with the character I played in the game, but it was more kind of like it was like the pure Paragon version, the, the best version of Joshua Coyote Shepherd that could have been out there. And so when I played him, uh, because I knew I was gonna do that parallel universe kind of thing, I just wanted to know what the entire game was like blue, and then I wanted to know what the entire game like would feel, what the entire game would feel like when I went red. To see the differences and stuff like that and i cleared it in like half the time or something it took me under, i think something like 24 to 28 hours with uh, playing red because you just start ramping through things you know what some scenes are going to be um but man just changing some of those key decisions you know and uh anyways it's not like uh, major major things kind of happen as consequence but just enough where the f the playthrough felt entirely different entirely different like if you go hard blue and then hard red you come out of that and like you have to make decisions that really feed into those things but the way you get to those two endings the feeling at the end like there's i remember like feeling that last clip um like where the game is just ending you're coming out of that wreckage and uh it's even the way they do the lighting like if you come in in paragon uh, and you go blue there's like blue lighting and it's kind of hopeful and all that stuff and then when it's red it's like there's like everything's messed up everything's destroyed you make these like crazy decisions that are like like this shepherd is about to just he'll wreck anything that's in his way and it's lit by fire and red and i was like that just like got, got me chills all over again because i can remember those visuals and the game friggin had me <laughs> immediately and then that was december and it was just like bang bang uh i did that in like a week i played the game and then i cleared it again on the next weekend like on the weekend i because it was on the break and then it was like i'm starting a channel and now when i started the channel it wasn't to make it a gaming channel i don't know why i still have this thing in my head over here <laughs> i could have just got rid of it and gone full screen because i thought i was gonna end but anyways, uh it wasn't because of gaming i just Got, I got inspired to just want to do things and then maybe the channel would have a gaming component so that I could bring Dragon Age and Mass Effect to the channel and so here we are. Now, um, do I do all of them and this just turns into a longer video or do I break right here and come back because I feel like I'm just going to go into another rambling mess about Mass Effect every time I see an extra set of videos. So you know what, I am going to end this one here. And we'll come back, I'll watch the next uh, stack of videos for Mass Effect 2. Because um, there's some already stuff going on in my head about how Mass Effect 2 like got to me. Uh, and I'm sure that if I see some scenes, I'm probably going to ramble on about that. So I'll catch you in the next video of 3, I suppose. Uh, catch you there. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire everybody. Peace.